What you need to know for your next Tesla road trip. July 14, 2022. Tesla's vehicles are becoming more and more popular. And owning one can be a bit of a paradigm shift if it's your first electric vehicle. Road trips in EVs are a little different than those in gas vehicles. Given the constraints of charging. For that reason, it's important to hit the road prepared with the tools and know how to minimize your time at the charger. And maximize your time spent at your destination. Avoiding long charging breaks is key to making the best of any Tesla road trip. And a guide from Forbes shared last month offers a handful of useful tips for keeping the battery charged on long trips. Despite having to compromise on charging times. However, drivers will be rewarded for long trips in EVs through reduced maintenance costs. Fueling costs. Cabin noise. Roadside breakdowns and, not the least of all, carbon emissions. There are many ways to make sure your charging time is well used. But prior to that, you'll want to load up on necessary gear for the trip. It's worth bringing a mobile EVSE charger with a 50A RV1450 socket connector and a 15A regular socket connector. Just in case. As well as an RVTT30 adapter designed specifically for EV charging. While these connectors used to come with Tesla's vehicles. You'll now have to buy them separately. Though they're fairly inexpensive. Additionally, Tesla drivers should pack the rarely used CCS adapter or the old CHAD-AMO adapters. These pieces of hardware can be tough to acquire the latter can be still be ordered from South Korea. But they can pay off on a road trip by increasing the charging options available to you. Next, you'll want to consider how to schedule in time to charge your EV while on your road trip. It's worth noting that charging an EV takes significantly longer than filling up a gas car with fuel. Even at Tesla's fast charging supercharges. So it can be super helpful to use that time to do other things. In addition to charging, it's also worth considering that Tesla and other EVs charge fastest when under 50% full. And fast charging from 10 to 50% can take as little as 15 minutes if you're looking to keep your stops as short as possible. Sleeping while you charge is the best option to save time and let your battery charge more slowly. Which is better for the car's longevity anyway. Some hotels will offer overnight charging at no extra charge. And you can look up lodging near or located at charging stations using apps such as PlugShare and a better route planner. Another strategy for maximizing charge time is to plan your charging times around meals and to find charging stations with nearby restaurants. While EVs may not be as convenient to take on road trips as gas cars at this point in time. The way you schedule your charging time can almost completely mitigate this convenience factor. The result is a win-win for you. Your trip and the environment. And the compromises you make driving an EV will hardly seem worth your attention. Source reposted and summarized from Zachary Visconti at Avanex. My take all very good advice. You have to plan a little better on an EV road trip. Truist expects Tesla to be a top 5 largest OEM by 2030. July 14, 2022. Tesla is getting a new bull as American financial holding company. Truist sees its big upside potential in the future. The company believes that the manufacturer will enter the top five largest OEMs in the world by 2030 and by that time will produce 10 million cars a year. Tesla is becoming more and more attractive to investors. So investment firms are starting to pay closer attention to it. Truist, which is one of the 10 largest banks in the US has begun covering the manufacturer's shares with an assigned buy rating and a target price of $1,000. On Wednesday, the stock closed at $711.12, which means that this is a great entry point. According to Truist analyst William Stein, Tesla is a consistent success story capable of overcoming significant obstacles. From a tiny startup, in less than 20 years on the market, the company has become the most valuable automaker in the world. Tesla is committed to solving problems in autonomous driving, artificial intelligence, and computing services. And this gives Stein confidence that a similar success story is yet to come. We believe the company's best days in terms of volume production, product innovation, and especially AI innovations are still down the road. The analyst believes that Tesla's margin growth potential is underestimated as the company continues to grow. He expects the company to become one of the top five OE MUs in the world by 2030. In addition, deliveries by then will grow to 10 million units per year. We expect Tesla's unit share to capture the pole position among automotive manufacturers. Stein said, we believe Tesla will deliver 10M units per year by 2030. 
Source reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. My take Tesla stock is a bargain right now. People should be piling on. If not, don't cry about it after it goes up again. Tesla is destroying the competition. July 14, 2022. Tesla is destroying the vehicle industry and cannot be stopped. There's many reasons for this and we'll go over them now. Tesla started with the Model S around 2012. But along the way, there have been many challenges. Tesla has faced its own challenges ramping the Model 3 and ramping new factories. And in addition to that, thousands of car startups have gone bankrupt and Tesla and Ford are the only two companies not to go bankrupt. Tesla is making electric vehicles and they are getting more and more popular. In 2019, there were 2.2 million electric cars sold worldwide. Then in 2020, that rose to 3 million. Then in 2021, that rose to 6.6 .6 million. More than doubling. Electric cars are the cars of the future. Can't an existing car company simply put in a battery pack into a car and have it ready to be sold? If this were true, wouldn't that be happening? It turns out, you can't just attach a battery pack into an existing car. It turns out that engineering, manufacturing, and batteries are essential. Millions of battery cells. Each Model 3 and Model Y long-range vehicle is equipped with about 4416-2170 battery cells that are placed inside the battery pack underneath the car. That's a lot of batteries. For 4680 batteries, it would require 960 of them. Batteries are made from raw materials and as Tesla gets into millions of units sold, those raw materials are becoming ever important. Tesla has also talked about mining their own materials or partnering with other mining companies. There's many more options for electric vehicles. With some cheaper than a Tesla. GM has promised that they will have 30 EVs before 2025. How many of these are actually selling? Tesla has registered 175,574 vehicles in the US between January and May of 2022. The next company is Ford with 17,409. About 10% of what Tesla did. Kia, Nissan, Audi, and Polestar are next. But less than 10% of Tesla. Tesla has a head start. But Ford just needs to 10x their production to catch Tesla. Right. Well, it's not that simple. Tesla grew 66% year over year with growth in Fremont. Giga Shanghai. And new factories in Giga Berlin and Giga Texas. Tesla's growth is showing no sign of slowing down. It's a huge challenge for a car company to build EVs to get to where Tesla is today. Let alone to where Tesla will be in 5 to 10 years time. Tesla has many contracts for batteries and leads in technology. Along with in-house production and manufacturing that other companies are partnering with other companies to do. Tesla has their own destiny in their hands. I don't think that other companies can catch up to Tesla. They are the king of EVs. June of 2022 was Tesla's highest production month in its entire history. Do you think Tesla is going to dominate the competition? If not, what competition will catch up? Source reposted and summarized from Jeremy Johnson at Talk News. My take of course. Tesla is sprinting down the track and all the other companies are screwing around at the starting line. Tesla FSD Beta V11 will be released by end of August. July 14, 2022. Tesla FSD Beta V11 will be released by the end of August. Hopes Elon Musk. At the moment, the company is focused on solving specific problems that have arisen in the current version. According to Elon Musk's earlier statements, FSD beta is considered not so good because it still uses a separate stack for city streets and traffic. Moving to a single FSD stack requires a huge amount of neural network training, which is what the Tesla team and beta testers are currently doing. According to the head of the company, V11 will have a single software stack that will combine city and highway, as well as many other architectural upgrades. To achieve this goal, FSD Beta has to make a few more important changes. On the way to V11, the company made a number of architectural improvements that allowed the car to move more smoothly, especially when making difficult, unprotected left turns and overtaking maneuvers. At the moment, Tesla is particularly focused on a specific complex left turn that one of the beta testers was having trouble with. Today, Musk announced that next week there will be a release of V10.13, which should solve this problem. He also revealed that beta V11, as he hopes, is to be released at the end of August, which he says just amounts to incorporating highway. 
He explained that the importance of V11 has been reduced due to the many 10x releases. But the company is already mostly at V11. It should be kept in mind that the creation of full self-driving is a very difficult task. Although each of us, as well as Tesla, wishes that it be achieved as soon as possible, there are still quite a large number of problems that need to be solved for this. On the path to full self-driving, we must remember that safety is the highest priority. So delays are an integral part of the process. Source reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. My take creating a completed FSD is crazy hard and Tesla is going OT get there first.